Leo, from time to time, we can become blocked when we're pursuing things of a creative nature. Someone here may be experiencing a bit of creation constipation. So let's see if we can't alleviate that for you. Hello, beautiful souls. Thank you guys so much for joining me here and welcome to my table. For those of you that are new here, hello, my name is Zachary. It's nice to meet you. And if you're returning, it's good to see you guys again. Pull up a chair. So my friends, looking at your energy here in meditation prior, I did pull a few oracle cards and then we'll go into meditation or into uh, tarot, excuse me, tarot messages. Uh, we can do meditation later, perhaps. So one thing came through in meditation for your message at this time, and it is a symbol. And looking back on a lot of your readings here, you guys, it seems like for whatever reason, Leo gets a lot of these symbols, which is great. Um, so this one here is called freedom of expression. I'm going to show the camera here. Feel free to pause it so that you can draw it out and utilize its function. And then I'll give you some instruction here. So freedom of expression. This is what this looks like here. Um, and in case anybody, I didn't draw out the arrows here, but if you're looking for direction on how this was drawn, this is drawn this way to the loop up here, open circle first, and then close circle. So I am aware this actually looks very um, uh, Taurus, like a Taurus symbol. So I like this because we're adding the strength or stability of that Taurus energy into this symbol and its function. So. What do we do with it? What's the point? So with freedom of expression here, Leo, this is to help um, give you the freedom to express or remove any sort of blocks that may be um, preventing you from being free with your expression and your creativity. Permission to remove any creative blocks as well. So you may be working on a creative project. Maybe you're an artist. There's something that you're doing at this time that is requiring you to tap into a well of creativity and I don't know, writer's block, right, is something that can definitely happen um, or is pretty normal. It's pretty normal to run into a block, I think, when we're talking about creativity or creation. Um, so what do you do with the symbol? I actually really like the instructions on this. It's unique. I haven't had instructions like this before, but it makes sense. So you're going to draw this symbol out here. Um, and I'll show you again. Uh, you're going to draw this out here, and then you're going to burn it. You're going to burn it in a way that you can collect these ashes. So small bowl, if you want to place that in there, uh, burn it up. You're going to take these ashes and you can either you can either mix it with water at that point. The what we're doing here is painting with it. OK, it doesn't ash doesn't really mix super well with water as far as like painting. Um, I would recommend actually to add it to paint, to add it to an acrylic or oil based paint. So once you mix that together, you're going to paint that on another piece of paper and you're going to place this near a creative project you're working on or near where you do creative work or you can place this wherever you'd like. That makes sense to you, okay? The point of this is to help release any blocks and I love literally we're burning it down and then we're creating something new. So, so far this is actually one of my favorite symbols that's come through here, you guys. Love it. All right, so freedom, freedom to express. So let's move into the Oracle messages here. And before I do get into that, I was shuffling the tarot decks we'll be using here. The Black Seed Tarot is one we'll be using. And um, I got this at the split and it also flew out as I was shuffling. So I felt called to show this here, but the Emperor. And I love how the Emperor is, it is a ram, but it's got the horns, just like <laughs> the symbol here we're dealing with. So interesting about this deck too, they put, I'm just gonna put that right back in there because it may come out again, some fuzzies. <laughs> um, they put a, a, a chakra to each card. So the emperor is connected to the solar plexus chakra, your confidence, your um, self-esteem, okay? Maybe there's an experience of a blockage here in the sacral chakra, which is your creative center that is making it difficult for that energy to come up into the solar plexus. So you may be working on a creative project or you may literally just be experiencing a block in your creative center. Either way, this symbol will help. Okay, so Oracle messages here. Um, and asking Spirit, what, what deck are we working with? They did say all. And um, 
I always have to clarify, like, uh, do you mean you really want me to go through every single one of these decks? There's only three. One of them will we'll pull at the end here. Uh, the first card that came through is the Shapeshifter in the Wild Unknown Archetypes deck. And all of these decks, you guys, are in the description of the video here. I do have them all listed in every one. So the Shapeshifter, to start being number 15, I do make the connection to the Devil card here when shame, Shapeshifter. Uh, I have a shame shifter. Maybe some of you are struggling with shame, especially talking about the solar plexus with the, um, the emperor coming through there. That's your personal power, right? It's, um, it's knowing how to use your personal power here too. So with the devil card being attached to this, there may be an experience of shadow here right now and doubting yourself and shame. Um, but this is a trickster energy and this isn't, doesn't necessarily have to be a bad energy, what I'm getting from that, so the shapeshifter, the trickster kind of energy does serve the greater good um, kind of behind the scenes, but it can, when slipping into shadow, turn more into people pleasing. Again, connecting to your solar plexus. I feel like there's this battle here, Leo, where you're experiencing uh, a back and forth between um, maybe the way that you behave normally and how you connect with others and um, slipping into this people-pleasing moment, okay? Um, I do, Trickster is definitely standing out. We'll see where this message goes further. So in the Starseed Oracle, you guys got fall into my arms, surrender, holding the opposites and extremes of life. So this is telling me also, back to this, this vacillation, going between the extremes, Whoever this message is applying to, it is feeling like you are experiencing these extremes and this isn't a typical experience for you. It's causing some discomfort. It's causing, um, well, maybe an, even an issue with your own self-esteem. So in this card, the book talks about rectifying these extremes, being okay with the extremes that happen in life. To experience the extremes in life means that we can say, I truly lived. Um, if you're struggling right now with an experience of going back and forth between extremes, I do feel we're coming into solidifying the solar plexus here. Some confidence, some healthy self-esteem um, self will be beneficial in helping you surf these waves right now. All right. And then the last to come through, the Urban Crow Tarot. You guys get abundance. Yay, abundance. Yes. So with abundance here, the book does talk about go to where there is abundance. These crows here are on uh, this side of the river where the fishermen are pulling fish out of the river, okay, or the ocean. I think this is in Seattle, so probably more ocean. <laughs> probably more ocean. Um, a call to be intelligent about where it is that you're fishing, right? If you are in a place, whether this is work, home, whatever, where you're living, friends, whatever, if the abundance isn't there, it's okay to move to where there is abundance, whatever this abundance looks like to you guys. And this feels more like creativity, feeling solid in your own uh, self-expression, okay? Uh, there could be some abundance, though, coming through for some of you. So let's get a little further into this. We'll pull a wild animal spirit oracle card for Leo. Oop. Not those. Yeah, you're right. It was my fat fingers. <laughs> for Leo, please, spirit. Hmm, maybe. Feeling a little fumbly, a little fumbly right now. Maybe you're feeling fumbly too. Feeling like you're fumbling something. It does feel like somebody has an expectation, like a deadline um, as a writer, author, something like that with this kind of creative block and it's creating pressure. The swan, swan comes through here. Um, so I do get protection when the swan comes through. There's, there is this dual nature of the swan as we're talking about extremes here too. They're still graceful as they're crossing the water here, <laughs> even as they are expressing both extremes. Okay, I want to pull a card here in the new Oracle or the new familiar field is what it's called the new animal Oracle deck. Someone needs to make a deck that's not a tongue twister. 
The goat. Interesting. There's those horns again. The devil, too, would be the goat. So, conquering vitality in new heights. Yes. This symbol could, I mean, it could be a goat. I know that that does look like the Taurus symbol, but with the emperor, the shapeshifter here with the devil, and now the goat, there's a lot of goat energy coming through here. Capricorn energy, Saturn. We are retrograde, um, Pluto retrograde in Capricorn right now. So, some karmic tie-ups. This could be some of the blocks that you're experiencing that need to be moved through. Um, but conquering vitality and new heights. I feel like you guys are taking things to new heights. You're conquering these things. You're conquering the um, inability to surf these waves if that has been your experience here prior. Okay. Let's get into tarot messages, you guys. Let's start with the Curious Travels tarot deck. For Leo, please, Spirit, what is going on for my Leo friends? And huge shout out to my channel members, you guys, hello, hello. If you're interested in being a channel member yourself, there's a link in the description of the video as well as a join button next to the subscribe button under this video. Feel free to hit subscribe if you haven't already. Ace of Cups here. So I do feel there's a new um, emotional opportunity, a new relationship possibly coming in for some of you. Maybe there's a new relationship that is that is causing this um, sway between the extremes, the inflexibility between the extremes. Hmm. I do have personal readings open and available if you guys want some help with something a little more personal. There's a link to my website in the description of this video too. Which one here? All right, what's going on for Leo? 1221 on the timer there. Nice mirror number. So this is your hope, hopes and dreams. Four of Cups. I do feel like um, this does feel like a block to me um, where this is a little bit more of a willing, like we're putting ourselves into a block state with the four of cups. We can become lazy. We can become negative. Um, we could even focus too much on our own growth or spirituality and miss other components of what's going on. So being in your hope here, the block, you guys, I feel like you guys are hoping you're wanting to get through this block. You're aware there is a block. You may not know what's causing the block. And with this symbol that's come through here, um, it doesn't matter, you know, it doesn't matter what the block is. Well, I'm sure we'll talk about it, but uh, feel free to just get that block the hell out of here. Let's do, yeah, Black Seed Tarot. For second deck here, Leo. What's going on for Leo? And this is a general message, my friends. So please keep that in mind. You guys are intelligent. Please use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which of these messages are for you, if they are. And if they're not, feel free to toss them. Get them out of here. It's okay if every message isn't for you. Oh, the sun here at the split. Definitely your energy, that abundance we're talking about. Being in kind of the shadow pile here, I feel like there is a fear or anxiety towards experiencing that again. Will I be able to, to sit out in the sun again? That abundance that you're looking for? Mm -hmm. Check out any of the other placements in your charts, you, uh, you guys. We do have every sign in our chart. So feel free to watch more of your story if that's what you're into. Ooh, the lovers. This is your fear or anxiety here at the bottom. The lovers. So there could be, with that Ace of Cups popping through, there could be a new relationship that started or that will be starting that is causing some distress, like I was saying. It kind of feels like difficulty in... Um, putting this energy into your life, assimilating it with somebody else. It doesn't have to be a relationship for everybody. The lovers does also symbolize being at a crossroads, a choice needing to be made. Um, the uh, moral versus desire nature of our choices, right? So I'm feeling you guys this block. There's this feeling of feeling stuck and not knowing which direction to go. Use a symbol here, burn it up, paint it out. I feel like that's going to help uh, get things flowing again. Okay, back to the flow here. So general for you guys to start, Leo. Nine of Cups, hey. I feel you guys are really, really close. You've had some really good readings this year. I feel you're really close to something that you've truly desired for some time. The Nine of Cups here, really this is... Um, uh, your personal, your personal abundance and satisfaction. Um, 
this is experiencing abundance before it comes because you know what it feels like. You know that this is a part of bringing this abundance into your life in that form of or that part of manifest manifestation. Excuse me. Uh, wish come true, you guys. So we're talking about in, in the vein of creativity here. It doesn't necessarily have to be art like you're a painter, drawer, drawer, <laughs> yeah, drawer. Um, singer, whatever. This is um, like I was saying with the solar plexus or the solar plexus and the sacral, it feels like there's something blocked in the sacral chakra in general. And this is creating an issue with bringing in what it is that you want and desire. Interesting with the so sacral chakra is going to be a bit more that mother, okay, the mother energy. Um, maybe there is something going on with your mother. Um, the Nine of Cups here can symbolize childbirth as well. So some of you may be going through that. It feels like um, there is something connect. Maybe there's some generational trauma you, you're working through at this time. It, the block could be many different things, but that's that's what's coming up here. <laughs> Rain on me too is what, <laughs> what comes through. Ariana Grande and, and Lady Gaga with these cups coming down. What is, how does that song go? Is that the one I didn't ask? I only asked you to show me a real good time. I didn't ask for the rainfall. The energy that I'm getting is kind of connected to a relationship here too. It feels like somebody may have started a relationship here recently. And there's this, this conversation that's happening that's saying like, I, I didn't ask you to take care of me. I didn't ask you to um whatever do this or that i asked you to like let's have fun i want to go have fun i want to experience life as we're talking about the extremes of life here too and saying i truly lived it's feeling like a relationship for somebody where that's what you want to experience okay let's keep going forward here um the hierophant comes through here too and hey there's taurus <laughs> There's there's the bull. A lot of uh, Taurus and Capricorn energy coming through here, I guess. So with the Hierophant, this is uh, this can symbolize marriage. I do feel we're talking about some sort of relationship for somebody. And if that's the case, it could be either you, Leo, or another person that may be struggling with some form of illusion. There could be a discrepancy between maybe the way somebody's putting you on a pedestal. Maybe you're putting somebody else on a pedestal. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. But with the Hierophant, we're talking about spiritual evolution. Bringing, continuing to bring that energy up here through our chakras. So I see this being successful here and blowing, blowing through this block, okay? Peace coming to you. Um, coming back into a little bit more of a centered state. This key around the neck is really standing out to me here. Like the key, the key to all of this is... Um, Hmm, let me pull. Let's see here. What is the key to all of this? Let me use this deck. Okay. Crow Tarot. What is the key? Page of Cups. Okay. So this definitely could be love for, for some of you. Something starting love-wise. Could be a water sign, Cancer. Um, the page of cups, this is, if this is a creative venture for you, you guys are feeling blocked here. This is taking something from the ether and bringing it down and making it real. There can be an overwhelm of emotion that comes with this though, too. And if this is love for you guys, what I'm getting is that it's, um, uh, I mean, immaturity is, is harsh. I don't mean it as an accusation. It's, it's, um, green. It's new. There's experience that still needs to be had here in this situation. Maybe you're coming from a place where maybe you came out of an, a relationship and you're moving into another one. There are emotions that need to be handled here is kind of what's coming through. The key to this is your own emotions and the way that um, you either let them overwhelm you or not. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. So good stuff. Let's move into the good stuff for you guys at this time. Judgment. Um, this reminds me, of, uh, and tower was at the bottom of this deck when I was shuffling, this looks kind of like the tower card. Um, I do feel like there's a big change coming for you guys. The tower hasn't shown up in this message, so I don't fully include that energy, or at least it doesn't feel like it's going to be an extreme thing unless you want it to be. 
but judgment here, this is really about um, change, <laughs> changing things or not about, about yourself, hearing the call to make a change and doing that or not doing that. So being in the good stuff here, I feel you guys are, are doing this. You're either getting to that point where you're hearing the call, you're waking up to um, the realization that there are things about yourself that you do want to change. Maybe I don't like how impatient I am, or I don't like that I jump to conclusions. I don't know. These are uh, things, well, I, don't, I work on myself. Maybe this is something that you also work on yourself. The I that's here, um, I think about, and this came through in Cancer too, I think about the I of Shiva, this destructive quality. With destruction always comes creation. <laughs> Uh, they they go hand in hand. The first step to creation is destruction. And the symbol that came through in meditation is really about destruction. We're destroying whatever block is there so creation can happen. It's feeling like a part of this block or maybe the whole thing is um, is firmly rooted in your own experience in your own personality. And what I mean by that is it's fully within your control to adjust or not. That's the beauty of it, right? So if you are experiencing difficulty in connection around you, if there is an overwhelm of emotion with somebody else, the recommendation coming through here is to take a peek inside. Give yourself some of that hermit energy and investigate. Three of Pentacles comes through here next in the good stuff. Um, recognition is definitely a part of this. So I feel, I feel that process with judgment of recognition, what needs to be changed, but also being recognized for that. You, first of all, giving yourself props. Okay. If you're going through this process and, um, giving yourself props for making the changes that are for your highest good and for the highest good of, of all, maybe you are somebody here who helps others behind the scene, behind the scenes, like the shapeshifter is talking about. Um, I don't feel like there might be outward recognition for that component necessarily, but in, in fitting into that in a healthy way, it's leading you to a place of recognition for something else, whatever creative, um, baby <laughs> you're birthing for the rest of us or for yourself too. But three of pentacles is success in working with others as well. There very much can be, um, like a, Sculpture is what's coming to mind for me here in the standard writer weight deck. They are um, creating something. So teamwork makes the dream work here. Success in working with others at this time as well. I do feel for someone there's this message coming through of like feeling nervous about judgment, feeling judgment from somebody else, maybe about what you are creating or more specifically for someone you may be wanting to collaborate with somebody in a creative way and there's fear of judgment in maybe reaching out to this person or this group of people. I say do it. I think there are only good things coming for you in that vein, okay? Being in your good stuff. Any other advice on that, please, for Leo? Retreat, time spent alone, reflection on past and current situations. That's totally judgment, okay? Okay. So if you're if you are finding yourself in that state where you're worried about other people's judgment, <clears throat> step one here is reflecting on ourselves. Okay, like I was saying, we're the only ones that get to make decisions on how we do or do not adjust our own personality. Okay. Okay. Uh, what's in the dark? What you don't see coming here? The moon. It does feel like there is fear. Coming up right now, needing to be addressed. And I think, I mean, a block could be seen as, as a form of fear. The moon here, this is our subconscious. The lobster represents our fears. These pillars represent the safety that we build around our fears to keep ourselves safe or to keep ourselves away from those fears. Um, what you don't see here is this is a time, and I think especially, like I said, retro Pluto into Capricorn here, we're facing some some fears, right? We're facing um, karmic tie-up, which a lot of the time can be connected to things that we're fearful of. So what you don't see here is this process of that you are cleaning up shop and getting shit cleaned up, right? 
for the next chapter, whatever's whatever is to come next, whatever is beyond these pillars here on the moon. Card, not on the moon. <laughs> Different reading. Okay. Um, Page of Swords here comes through next and what's in the dark. I get I don't know if that's um what is that word? Focusing. Focus, focus. I don't have glasses on when I do these readings typically, so um Things are a little blurry. It already looks blurry to me. But anyway, Page of Swords. So being in what you don't see coming here, I do feel I do feel like um, mm, mm, okay, in learning something new. So the Page of Swords is a, a student, the student of the deck. It's a student, studious energy. Um, a call to learn something new, honing skills of some sort, paying attention to learning something around you. Um, I feel like with the symbol that's come through as we're talking about judgment and the moon, what you're being asked to learn or to see is how to better blast through blocks when they do present themselves. And um, what's coming to mind for me, actually, especially since the emperor came out in the beginning, divine masculine energy, taking action. When there is a block in this way, it's not what I'm getting is it's not about blasting through this block. Um, even in this process with this symbol, you are taking action to do things, but it's in a, it's in a creative uh, arena, which means that it's in a divine feminine arena. It is in a receptive state. So blasting through this block, whatever this is, is not done through force. It is done through allowing. <laughs> uh, and that's kind of the message that I'm I'm getting coming through here. You're being asked to learn or to see at this time how much you can actually accomplish or what hurdles you can get through, what blocks you can blast through by actually retreating, retreating into a more divine feminine, a receptive state, a state of allowing. Okay. Cool. Love that. I do also feel you guys are learning something new about your fears, peeling back another layer there of the onion, so to speak. So, um, what is your, what your challenge is at this time or, or what is difficult? You have the hanged man. <laughs> hey, speaking of blocks, hanged man hangs themselves up here to see something from a different perspective. This can stand for a pause, waiting. Okay. A block. Yeah. This is the difficulty back to what I had just said. If you are noticing that this is you where there is a block, it is not about plowing through. This person, they're not plowing through anywhere. They're stationary. They're allowing information to come to them, to them, okay? To see something that they need to see. I do feel this is also, like this block is kind of divinely led. The intention is to set this block up for you to show you how best to blow through blocks. Like I said, not through force, okay? Okay. Um, Six of Swords here comes through next. In your difficulty, this is a transition. Um, there is a need to release something, though, in order to take this trip to moving on to whatever this is that's next for you past the pillars of the moon. Like I said, um, there's a need to release some form of baggage, something that's been weighing you down. This could be the back to the force. Like I was saying, maybe you're somebody who uh, has has always lived your life thinking um, I need to apply force to something in order to get it to do something. Force is required from time to time to time, okay? Divine masculine is necessary, so is the divine feminine. But what I'm getting here is it's not about pushing through it. It's about allowing that receptive nature actually to open up and getting comfortable with that. This is a brand new experience, though, if this is if you've not experienced this before, it could be scary. What does that look like? You know, you may be feeling like you're giving your power away by going into a more receptive state. Mm -mm, no, you're coming into your power. OK. All right. Let's pull a blue angel oracle card here to close this out, Leo. And then I am going to go into an extended part. Part do. If you guys want to join me for that, I am. Um, a links will be in the description of the video. We do go over direct messages from your higher self, love and advice, career and advice, and then what is most likely being manifested for you based on your thoughts and emotions. So what do we have for Leo at this time, please, Spirit? This one here. Middle. Okay. 
Archangel Michael, hey. Archangel Michael, number one. So I am going to read this in the book here. Book. Eternal love and protection. Yes. I am always with you, and in this moment, I embrace you with my protective blue light. I loved you before the dawn of time and will continue to love you forevermore. My love is eternal and never changes, for we are timeless souls. Together we have journeyed through the ages. We have been the light of the sun and the grass of the fields. Millions of earth years have passed, and yet here we are. The same light still glows in our hearts, and the same grass carpets the fields with green. You have lived countless lives, and I am always with you, for I am the sky above you and the endless love inside your heart. I am a luminous eternal essence. I am a sky full of endless love. I am forever with you, for we are one. So when this card comes through here, I, I take it as um, a call to remember who you are. Remember. <laughs> remember who you are, and that who, who are you? You are eternal. So as you're, as you're dealing with something that's blocked here, Leo, if this message applies to you, um, and you're maybe struggling with the emotions coming into a receptive state, remember that this, is, this ain't your first ride, okay? This ain't your first rodeo, right? You've done this many, many times. And um, this is just another opportunity to grow your, your spiritual muscle in that way, all right? Okay. Leo, I love you guys, and I hope that this message is helpful. I'm going to move into the extended. Like I said, links are in the description. They are for sale individually as well as on the third tier of membership if you want access to all of them. Personal readings are open. My link is in the description there too. If this reading did resonate with you guys, please like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell even. They're all great ways to support me in the growth of this channel, and I truly appreciate it. Um, oh, I totally forgot too. If you've made it this far. I'm so sorry I didn't mention earlier, but the year, uh, the channel hit a year on October 6th. And to celebrate, I am giving away a free reading. So if you're interested in that, there is a link in the description of the video. There's also at the end here, there'll be a video um, link you can click on here to get the rules on how to enter. So feel free if you guys are interested, I'll go through the end of the month here with that. Um, PayPal and Cash App links are in the description too. If you feel called to donate, those who do support the channel in that way, thank you, thank you, thank you. It goes a long way and I couldn't do this without you. Okay, Leo, I love you guys. I'll see you all very soon. Be well. Take care.